What's up guys? Thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to be talking about my top 30-ish Zoyas. Um, don't mind me, I'm trying to finish my dinner because I am running out of daylight, but I also needed to eat dinner. So we are doing both at the same time. Um, so today, like I said, we're going to be talking about my top favorite Zoyas. This was really hard to narrow down. I got to, I started with 10 to 15 and then I realized I couldn't do 10 to 15. So we got to just under 30. Um, and this is definitely, I mean, I was being pretty cutthroat with this. There's definitely some still in my collection that I wish I could add here, but I, for the sake of time, I feel like I tried to narrow them down as best I could to my favorite, favorite ones. Um, and I hope that, you know, this is helpful for some of you who um, are going to be taking part in any Zoya sales. If you want some recommendations, here are some of my favorites. Um, I was hoping, Zoya's having a sale right now um, as I'm filming this. I was hoping to get this up a little bit sooner, but unfortunately I had to be an adult all week and, you know, I got lost with my adult duties and did not have enough time to film. Also, swatching all of these took a little bit of time, so I was hoping to get this up a little bit sooner, but I apologize. Hopefully this is still helpful for some. I feel like most of us crazy Zoya fanatics probably already put our orders in. Psst, mine comes in tomorrow. Um, but for those of you who are new to Zoya and you maybe haven't put in an order yet, I hope this would be helpful. Or for those of you who maybe are watching this video, you know, in the next couple months, next couple years, excuse me. Um, hopefully this would be helpful for you in the next upcoming Zoya sales also to try and, you know, think of some of the, you know, ones that you want to purchase. So again, like I said, I narrowed this down as best I could. I'm going to try and go in some kind of color order here. And also I will mention that some of these are Zoyas that I feel like have a cult following that are very popular. So if you watch a lot of these favorite Zoya videos, I feel like some of these are going to be kind of just a little repetitive of like, yeah, we get it. That video, that nail polish is awesome. So I'm not going to about talk about those in length. I, I contemplated whether or not I wanted to put those even in here, but I feel like it wouldn't be a favorites video if I didn't put these polishes in here. Um, and I feel like for some of you who maybe haven't seen some of those other Zoya, you know, favorite videos, and maybe this is one of your first couple ones, I feel like that, you know, seeing some of these more popular um, colors would be helpful also. So, like I said, I'm not gonna talk about the more popular ones in length just because I feel like those get talked about quite frequently, but I will touch on the ones that I feel like don't get talked about enough, and I'll try and talk about those a little bit. So, all right, let's get going. Okay. So first up, we're gonna start with um, some of my favorite nude polishes that I love to wear. And we can't, you know, we can't talk about nude polishes unless we talk about Zoya's Rue. Zoya's Rue is a, definitely a favorite polish amongst um, Zoya collectors and Zoya fanatics. This is a gorgeous just blush rose. It leans on the, um, it's a little bit more of a paler blush rose. Um, so it's a little bit more dainty on the nail. I think it's very chic. It's kind of one of those polishes when I don't have, you know, when I don't really know what to wear, but I want to look polished. I want to look sophisticated. This is also a really good interview color. Um, yeah, this is just a great polish overall. So that's Zoya's Rue. And along those same lines, um, another really beautiful kind of polished, chic um, nude polish. This is Zoya's Mia. And Zoya's Mia is going to be a warmer pink, still kind of in the blush rose family, but definitely a little bit more pink. If you uh, look at that up against Zoya's Rue, you'll see that this definitely shows how much how much paler that Zo uh, that Rue is. So definitely has a lot more pink in it. Again, it's just one of those really just beautiful colors that you can wear with almost anything. Very chic, very work appropriate. And this is a newer one in my collection. It's definitely jumped its way up to one of my favorites. So that's Zoya's Mia. And then my other nude that I love to wear, this one is when I want to wear a nude but I want a little something extra. This is Zoya's Pasha. And Zoya's Pasha is um, a warmer toned brown, almost leaning towards a taupe, um, but it's got this really beautiful, um, what color is that? I wanna say a silver, but it's almost got like a greenish blue tint to it. Um, but yeah, it's just got this really beautiful 
sheen that goes through it. Um, and it just kind of makes the nude, so if you're not really into those kind of dull, flat type nudes that just kind of sit on the nail and make your skin tone look a little blah and kind of dead looking, um, this one might be really good. I Like I said, that shimmer really helps kind of just um, make the color pop off the nails. It gives it a little bit of life to it. Um, and it's really, really pretty. Um, I didn't mention um, in one of my recent videos that this is sort of similar to one of the newer releases from Zoya, which is Beth, but I think Beth would be more suitable to um, cooler skin tones. And I'm more of a neutral skin tone, but I, f I prefer warmer tones on my skin. So Zoya's Pasha is um, one of my favorites. All right, and sticking with those, we're moving a little bit warmer. We're going to move into some of my, like, neutral browns. Uh, this is Zoya's Flynn. And Zoya's Flynn is your khaki, kind of caramel brown color. Very beautiful. If I put that up against Zoya's Pasha, you'll see that it has a lot more brown in it. This is very, very nice. It's just, um, it's a good polish to wear throughout the season. I feel like this is a really good palette cleanser. Um, just a really beautiful shade. And that is Flynn. And one of my other favorite browns, this is um, Zoya's Louise. And Louise is kind of your medium toned brown. I would say your basic kind of like, not milk chocolate, maybe it's a little bit darker than a milk chocolate, I would say. Um, really beautiful, great fall time appropriate shade. And that is Zoya's Louise. And then my last one, again, kind of, if you want to stay in the brown family, but you want something with a little bit of spice, a little bit of kick to it, uh, this is Zoya's Cinnamon. And cinnamon is going to be a very beautiful bronzed brown, um, and you can see it's got that metallic in it. Um, say metallic, kind of makes it a little bit more of a gold. Um, it's like a gold metallic that's in there, so really beautiful. Again, it's just like your perfect bronze. It's a little bit of a darker bronze. I love this during the fall. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful shade. All right, and then moving on to some of my favorites, which is purples, blurples, that kind of color. So this recently came out in the spring collection and this kind of bumped, one of my really favorite pale purples was Zoya's Heather. Obviously, because it's my name, but also it was a really beautiful, I mean, my name and a purple, can you make an even beautiful, you know, it was, it was gorgeous. Um, but this one actually knocked it off of my favorites list and that is Zoya's Abby. I don't know, I gotta stop saying Zoya because we all know this is Zoya. And Zoya's Abbey is the same kind of pale purple, um, but this has just, it, oh man, it's just, it, it's on the same lines where it's just like that very nice kind of pastel, but it's just got that punch of purple and it just is very vibrant, a lot more vibrant than Heather, um, as you'll see in the swatch photos. It just, oh, it's so beautiful. And the, and the formula on this is amazing. Heather, I think, um, has a like, three coatish formula, not the greatest, um, but this one is amazing. And that purple is just, it's like the perfect lavender, whereas Heather has a little bit less purple. So if you are wanting something a little bit more subdued, a little bit more neutral, I think Heather would be a great color for you. But um, if you're into purples and you're into kind of pastels, like this is a, an amazing, amazing color. So that's um, Jordan. I'm sorry, no, that's Abby. I get them too confused, Abby. And then on everyone's kind of favorite Zoya list, this is Perry. And Perry is a beautiful orchid purple. Um, this kind of rides the line between pink and purple. I, I This is such a shape shifter to me. Um, in the bottle, this always looks a lot more pink, but as soon as I put it on my nails, it just transforms into this very um, pinky toned purple. And it's so beautiful um, up against I don't want to show that yet, just kidding. But anyway, this is, um, you know, on everyone's favorite Zoya list, and there's a reason for it. This is just a beautiful kind of rides the line, very, um, very appropriate for spring, for summer, kind of all around. It's just a really, a really nice shade. So that's Perry. And then along those same lines um, as Perry, this is Lois. And Lois just came out recently, so again, it's one of those that's jumped up really high on my um, favorites list. And this is so beautiful. Up against Perry, you'll see that it has a lot more purple. It's a lot more vibrant um, than Perry. And the color on this is just gorgeous. It just kind of pops off the nail. I really enjoy this color. I enjoy purples in general, so it's really hard for me to narrow down the purples. Um, 
but I've really enjoyed this color so far. So that is Lois. And moving along with the purples, these are some of my darker kind of fall shade purples. And you can't do, you can't do a favorites list without talking about Aurora. Aurora is an amazing scattered holographic. I think it's in everyone's favorites list. There's a reason for it. This is my favorite out of the scattered holographics. I think the holographic on this, on this base just, the holographic stands out so well against this base, which is like a, it's a warmer toned purple, um, kind of leans a little bit more red toned. Gorgeous. I mean, I just, like I said, this is my favorite out of the scattered holographics and there. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shade that the, when this hits the sun, the scattered holographic and this just beams off your nail. It's so beautiful. So Aurora. And this one doesn't get talked about very often, but I really enjoy this one. I think maybe it's because a lot of people don't like metallic nails, which I do. So this is Haven. And Haven is a beautiful metallic kind of blackened purple. Um, it's a blackened base with um, that like plummy purple color. I don't know if that's picking up in the camera, but it looks like it is. But you'll see the swatch photo here. This is so, so beautiful. Really enjoy this um, during the fall time. I also kind of enjoy it in the winter time. It's kind of, it's kind of like sugar plum fairy-ish kind of purple to me. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy this. Doesn't ta isn't talked about very often. So if you like metallics, I think this would be a really, really beautiful one for you. Again, it's one of those that just kind of like beams off the nail when this hits sunlight. Really, really magical. So that is Haven. And then my last purple is Margot. And Margot is a beautiful kind of berry that leans, oh, is it berry? Yeah, I'd say it's berry. It's definitely like a redder toned purple. Um, so it's gonna be, you'll see here up against Aurora that it's a little bit more red. Up against Haven, excuse me, yeah, up against Haven. You know, it's, it's a lot more of a redder toned purple. This is a beautiful neutral. I love the neutrals where, you know, you can tell it's a neutral. It's very, you know, crisp and like I said, chic and sophisticated on the nail. But, and, and the color is still bright, but it's not like in your face. It's not gonna be a summer, you know, neon. It's not gonna be a spring kind of like, you know, neon pastel, but it's still a bright, vibrant color, but it's not, you know, like so in your face. You can wear it to work, you can wear it to an event, and it's gonna be like a beautiful kind of vibrant shade, but it's not gonna be like, people aren't just gonna be like, what the hell is on your nails? What What is going on here? So this is a really beautiful shade, really enjoy that. That's Margot. And then moving on to my kind of blurple, periwinkle-ish kind of colors. Um, this I think is, there's only two pixie dusts in my, um, in my favorites here. And it's, pr I don't enjoy, I, I like texture polishes, I just don't wear them very often. Um, mostly because I feel like the, taking them off is a pain in the ass, but um, for the most part, I don't wear them a whole lot. If I do, I usually wear them with a top coat, but this is one of the few that I actually don't wear with a top coat. And this came out, I want to say last fall. This is Alice. Oh, and Alice is so amazing. It's this beautiful, like I said, blurple kind of color and it's got, what are you? It's kind of like, it's kind of similar. It's going to be like a, man there's some purple there's some blue um but yeah there's a shimmer in here so when it dries textured it's going to be that sandy textured color uh, or that sandy textured um texture and uh it's just uh, the, it's so beautiful the color is just stands out sometimes i the reason i think i don't like textures also is sometimes i feel like they just get a little too dull and i feel like the color just kind of loses its vibrancy um and not with this the color is still super vibrant on the nails you can still you can still see the um the shimmer and the glitter in here and uh it's such a and that shade is just so beautiful i mean how can you not how can you not love this shade um so that is alice and then along the same lines, this is Zoya. Oh, I told you I was not going to say Zoya. This is Issa. And Issa is kind of similar. Um, I feel like they're almost the same color. Um, Issa is just a slightly a tad bit darker, but I think it's just because of the, um, the, that the, because this is pixie dust and this is just kind of like your regular um, polish. I think this kind of loses a little bit um, of color, but they're almost like the same base, but 
Issa has a lot more of that purple blue shimmer that's in Alice. Oops, excuse me. Um, oh my god, this is a beautiful polish. Stands off the nail when it hits sunlight. Oh my gosh, I could not get the best swatch photo on this one. I tried so hard um, to get it in the sunlight so you could see that purple and blue shimmer that's in here. And you can definitely tell in the in the swatch photo that it is, you know, really vibrant and really um, just a, a beautiful color, but I just could not get that um, shimmer to stand out on here. And that shimmer is just, oh, it's so beautiful. Um, so that is Issa. And then the last one on these kind of blurple um, theme, and this is one that I've talked about in several of my videos. This is probably out of all of these, out of all of the ones that you're going to see here today, this is probably my favorite polish, and that is Saint. And Saint is a beautiful cornflower type blue um, with a gorgeous sh um, shift in it, and that is a, it's like a pink shift. Um, so in the bottle, it's very faint. Um, you can't see it super well, but when it's on the nail, oh, it just makes the color stand out so well, so just beautiful and vibrant. And then when it hits the sunlight, oh, it just like sings off the nail. Like I feel like there should be some kind of melody whenever this hits, you know, sunlight. Um, and like I said, not many people talk about this. And I think, like I said, this is probably like my top, my top favorite Zoya. Um, this probably, and I would say you haven't seen all of them yet, but I would say definitely, um, Saint and Aurora are, you know, in my top two. We'll, we'll keep going through. I don't know if I want to do what my last one is, but these two definitely are in my, my top two. Um, and then my last kind of purpley color, this is Key. This is another one I feel like isn't talked about a whole lot. Um, and this is your really pretty kind of like oil slick um, nail polish. So it's a bit um, kind of like a shifty multi-chrome type. So it... It shifts from, I think the base itself is kind of a purple. I would say um, kind of just your basic kind of purple, maybe slightly grayed out. Um, and it's just got this green shift in it. And so hopefully I can get some of that on the camera, but it just goes from like this pink to this green. And then it, often at times it can go kind of black. So it just really looks like that kind of like you know, oil slick color, and it's so, so beautiful. Um, so yeah, and these are these kind of polishes, uh, these are the kind of polishes I love, like shifty chrome, um, to where they're, you know, not super in your face, but that subtle, just a little bit of like glimmer, or that little bit of like a shift in it, I think just really like makes it pop and really makes it come alive. Um, so again, that's Zoya's key. All right, so moving into blues, um, again, this is probably a pretty popular one. This is Zoya's, oh my God. This is Ling, and I had, I sat there and toyed with this for a few minutes as to whether, um, because there's a color similar to this that came out, I want to say last fall, oh no, I'm sorry, last summer, and that's Dory, and Dory and Ling are super close, um, Dory, they're not super close, but I feel like they're kind of along the same lines, so Dory is a little bit more, um, it's a little bit more chalkier, a little bit more of a, not, it's not pastel, but it kind of leans a little bit more, um, it's a little bit more grayed out, um, and Zoya's Ling, obviously, it looks like this, um, and ultimately, I feel like Ling went out. I feel like Ling's color is a little bit more vibrant. I do love Dory, don't get me wrong, um, but when you put them side by side, I feel like, I mean, obviously, they're not dupes by any means, but, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> but when you're talking favorites, and I don't like a whole, like blue's not my favorite color to wear. I like like the blurbly purple colors, but blue as a, like a whole is not one of my favorite colors to wear. Um, so the reason I love Ling, it's just a very vibrant blue, but again, it's not in your face. It's not, um, I can't really wear like true royal blues. Um, I don't know why, I just don't love them. Um, but I feel like this is like as close to like a blue as I, you know, I just, I think it's really pretty. It's just got, you know, a really nice vibrancy. I feel like vibrancy is going to be the, the drinking game word for this video. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just, it just has a really beautiful vibrancy. It's still like just a beautiful, um, I don't know if I would call this like a cobalt blue, but, um, I'd say it's like a sky, I'd say it's like a sky blue to me. Maybe a little, uh, it's a little bit darker than a sky blue, but 
any hoodles. Um, lots of people love this. There's a reason why. It's just a very rich, vibrant blue and it ultimately won out. So that's Ling. All right, so next up is Zoya's River. And this came out recently in the um, recent summer collection and it has jumped very high up on my list. Uh, was not expecting to like this. The initial reviews on this polish were not great. Um, and I actually ended up, you know, I was hesitant on buying it and then I ended up purchasing it uh, a couple months ago. And it has, like I said, just totally jumped up really high on my list. This is a gorgeous blue with a light blue shimmer that runs throughout. So as the name suggests, this just looks like, you know, a, a river on your nails, just water, really, you know, vibrant. Again, when it hits that, when it hits the sunlight, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, you know, light, that light blue just really just bounces off the, uh, bounces off the nail. So that is river. And then my last blue is Natty. And Natty was one of my first Zoyas, so it kind of holds a little special place in my heart. And it's also one of the very first blues I purchased. Like I said, I don't wear, I didn't, I'm slowly getting into blues, but I, for the most part, don't wear a whole lot of blues. Um, and Zoya's Natty kind of pushed me towards wearing more blue. Um, and this is just a really beautiful, um, it's, a, it's almost a neutral. Um, it's a little dark, so I really tend to wear it only kind of in the fall and winter time. Um, but this is just a beautiful kind of steel blue. It's got a little bit of a gray to it. Um, oh, it's just really blue, like denim, just basically like a denim jeans type blue. Um, wonderful formula. This is a really, really great polish. And then moving into my greens. Um, and then green, green is also a color I don't wear very often. So this will speak very highly of these greens since it's not a, you know, since it's not a color I, t I wear very often, I feel like this will definitely speak highly of them. Um, my first one I recently, an another one that I recently purchased that I've, I'm really enjoying so far, this is Gemma. And Mary of, I forget her screen name. Uh, I'll have to remember, but there used to be a YouTuber on here. She's gone now. Um, Mary Kale, I forget what her screen name was, but anywho, this was one of her favorite polishes and I held off on buying it. I just bought it recently um, and I'm so glad I did because this is really, really pretty. This is kind of a, it's almost one of those like ugly pretty greens. It kind of leans on like the yellow green side. So it's got kind of like a pukey kind of green color to it. But what really makes this polish stand out is the shimmer that's in here. Um, it's basically kind of like a shift. It's almost like a bluish, um, it shifts from like a bluish shimmer to like a pink shimmer. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it to pick up, but it is just, again, these kind of polishes just do me in. Just the way that these, you know, these shimmers and shifts in here just really make the polish bounce off of the nail. It just gives it a little something extra. It just really makes them, just really interesting and, you know, just makes them a, a so much more vibrant. So that is Gemma. And then a nice kind of neutral green um, that I tend to wear a lot in the fall and winter time is Charlie. And Charlie is a beautiful, um, oh man, how would you describe this color? It's like a khaki green, like a camouflage almost type green, a little bit, I'd say a little bit darker, a little bit more yellow in it. Um, this is a beautiful shade, like I said, in the fall and winter time. It's kind of like your, your, um, your fall, winter neutral, just really nice on the nail, Charlie. And then this is the other scattered holographic that I have put in this collection. Let me turn this phone so it doesn't ring again. Um, and this is Merida. Not gonna hang up too much on this because this is on pretty much everyone's favorites list. Pretty much all of these scattered holographics are. Um, I have, I'm about to have all of them, which you will find out in my, <laughs> what I bought during the Zoya sale. Um, so I, I'm purchasing, I think the last scattered holographic that I don't have. Um, so I will have the full complete set. But like I said, Aurora and it was really hard to narrow down. I, I couldn't put Aurora and Finley in this video. I felt like that was too many purples. Um, and I love, I think Finley's gorgeous. I love Finley, but I felt like ultimately Aurora is probably the one that I wear more often. But like I said, I don't wear a lot of greens, but Merida is just really beautiful. I think what makes this one and Aurora stand out to me is just the way that the, 
scattered holographic just kind of bounces off of the um, the bases. Some of the other ones are pretty, but I feel like the holographics are just not as vibrant on the nail. Um, they're just a little bit more, like you, they just don't stand out as well on the, the color bases that they have. So um, that's kind of why I prefer these. I just think the way that the holographic stands out on them just really make them stand out. So that is Merida. And then we're almost done. We're moving into my reds and pinks. Um, and let's see, who do I want to start with? Let's start with some of our brighter colors and then we'll move into my darker ones. Um, so my, you know, to steal a word from Miss Holly Berry's, my quintessential um, kind of spring summer toenail color um, is Wendy. I also wear this on my nails, but um, Wendy's on my toes at least, you know, a couple times during the, during the spring and summer. And Wendy is just your, your really kind of really good in between pinky, uh, pinky coral. It, it's, it's kind of like Perry where it rides the line. It's a little bit, um, it's coral, but it's got a little bit more pink in it than it does orange. Um, but it's such a beautiful color, lovely, lovely color. So Wendy. And then the coral that I wear, again, a lot of times during the summer and spring, actually, I'm probably more summer, I don't really wear this during spring, but this is definitely one that's on my toes at least once during the summertime, and that is Roca. And Roca is definitely, um, it's also a coral, but I'd say it leans heavily, heavily orange. Um, it's just, it's kind of like your reddish orange. Oh, this is such a beautiful color. Again, the vibrancy on this is wonderful. It just really, really stands out. And then similar to, Roca, and I want to hold them up side by side so you can just see the color difference. Um, another one of my, you know, favorites during the spring and summertime is um, Demetria. And Demetria is kind of your, you know, just really bright tomato red. And I just wanted to hold them up against each other just so you could see the color difference. So Roca is definitely like a reddish orange, um, but she definitely is a lot more orange than, um, you know, Miss, uh, Miss Demetria here. Again, beautiful, beautiful red. I really enjoy this. And then I also want to hold this up against um, my other favorite red, which is Janelle. And Janelle, I love during the fall time. It's it's a little bit more. Um, I think I think Zoya calls it a brick red, and I feel like it's just slightly lighter than a brick red. It's not as brown. Um, but it's so beautiful. It's just a really chic color. I don't wear a lot of true reds. Um, the reds that I tend to wear like some of the darker reds that I tend to wear are these types of colors where it's like got a little bit of brown in it, just gives it a little bit more darkness to it. Um, so Janelle is really, really beautiful. And then my, f my last polish, I feel like this might be, this is also one of the first, I can't remember what the very first Zoya polish was that I bought, but I can remember like my first few. Um, and this one is definitely one of my first few. If not, I want to say it's, no, I know, no, you know what? I do know what my first one was. So yeah. So, but anywho, this is definitely um, one of my first Zoyas, and I absolutely love this color. This is one that also doesn't get talked about very often, um, and that is Blair. And Blair, I wear almost all Christmas long. It's just this, there it is. It's just a beautiful metallic black and red, and it just looks like wrapping paper on the nails. It is so beautiful. I just... Every time, it doesn't look that amazing in the bottle, but as soon as you stick this thing on your nails, oh my gosh, it's just so gorgeous. Um, the swatch photo I took, I couldn't get it in the right lighting to kind of make this, you know, metallic bounce off. So hopefully this, you know, video will kind of just show how amazing this is. But, oh, during the Christmas time, this is just like red wrapping paper on the nails. I just, I love, love, love wearing this during the Christmas time. Oh, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gives you some suggestions when you're purchasing Zoya's. Um, like I've said in the past, Zoya is my favorite brand by far. It's it's kind of what got me into collecting nail polish. Um, for a very, very, very long time, I didn't have any nail polish. I had thrown out all of my drugstore. Um, I had kind of gone like cruelty-free, um, and chemical free, you know, chemical free as much as you can with nail polish. And so for a very long time, I threw away every single nail polish I owned and I didn't have any nail polish for a really long time. And then I came across Zoya and at, at the time, Zoya was one of the few polishes that I was aware of that had not very many of the um, the chemicals in it. I believe, I, I think they might be even 10 free at this point, but I think maybe back then they were like five or seven free. So 
you know, I was really eager to try them and I was so, so happy because some of the, some of the other like chemically free nail polishes that I tried prior to Zoya were not great. Um, and so when I found Zoya, I just fell in love with their formulas. I fell in love with, you know, knowing that I wasn't putting disgusting gross chemicals on my nails. Um, and I just, I just love them so much as a brand. So I, I, like I said, these are, I tried to narrow this down as best as I could to kind of my top, you know, I think this is a little under 30. I think there's like 28 here. So, you know, I tried to narrow this down as best I could just for time purposes, because I could sit there and pick out pretty much every nail polish I have in there of Zoya that I love. So if there's a polish in here that you've been thinking about purchasing, or, you know, if there's a polish from Zoya that you've been thinking about purchasing and I didn't mention it in here, let me know. Um, I'd, be, I'd be, you know, I'd be happy to give you my thoughts, let you know what I think. Um, like I said, I definitely have way more, you know, favorites than this, but this, you know, like I said, it's just my top, top favorites. Um, so yeah, I'm, thank you so much for watching. I will, tr uh, I'm going to try and get um, another video up this week so you can see what I purchased. If you follow me on Instagram, I have you have already seen the polishes or at least the um, receipt of the polishes that I purchased for this Zoya haul or for, excuse me for this Zoya sale. Um, but for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram or don't have Instagram, I am going to try and get a video up hopefully in the next day or so. Um, showing all of the nail polishes I purchased. I don't know if I'll put it up in the next day or so because I feel like a lot of you like to see swatches so I might swatch them before I put the video up. but I'm at least gonna try and film it um, so that way you guys can see what I purchased and this video is gonna be terribly long so I'm gonna stop now so thank you so much for watching I hope you guys are having a great day bye <laughs>